At the Fluffalicious Bakery, we specialize in the most delicious gourmet cupcakes in the area. Baked fresh each day for the tastiest cupcake experience. Come find us on Warehouse Row in Albany. And don't forget about our famous cupcake truck. Life's short. Eat more cupcakes. Lark Street Flower Market is a full-service flower shop that provides friendly service and a wide variety of affordable flowers. So stop in at 262 Lark Street in Albany. Get the right flowers for your special occasion today. We feel that the contractors that they're utilizing don't pay the area standards. Protesters like Kevin Smith are out here fighting against pay rates as Villeneuve builds a new dormitory for the College of St. Rose. They are the ones that we have the issue with is Villeneuve and uh, Villeneuve Construction Services. Protesters say it's a message everyone needs to hear. It's an area standards campaign. It's one that we're carrying across the country. It's not just here local in Albany. And with the support of carpenters that are currently working on the Villeneuve project, it makes things much easier on all the protesters. It's pretty amicable. I mean, they, uh, they do what they have to do, and we do what we have to do. For the students of St. Rose, they don't just see protesters causing a commotion. They see a group of people standing up for others. If you're not paying them what they should be paid, they should be protesting. They should all be protesting. But... I'm glad they're making a ruckus. They're making a noise. People are starting to care. People are starting to complain. And it's, you go, guys. And the students don't mind to hear the word that is being spread right outside their classrooms. The school should hear about it. The school should be hearing, hey, we can't focus because they're yelling. I think they're doing the thing right. They understand what we're trying to accomplish. And, you know, it'd be nice if we could all get there. And protesters and carpenters are going to continue to yell until they get their message out to the ones that need to hear it. For NSRT News, I'm Chelsea Roman. The engineers are ranked dead last in their conference and the poor results continue tonight with a close but six straight loss falling to Dartmouth 4-3. You know, it is. It's frustrating, you know, because uh, I think, you know, we've had a lot of games like this where we've played hard and we put ourselves in position and, you know, we come one play away for whatever that reason is. As a team, the Rensselaer engineers have struggled, but there has been one player who has risen to the top and has played rather well. Junior defenseman Nick Balin leads the team in scoring with three of his own goals and eight assists. Ken Bounce is going the right way right now, and unfortunately we're not getting enough. With the 13 remaining games being conference games, the engineers need to put the loss behind them quickly. Uh, we need to be a team that is playing its best hockey uh, in the playoffs. And so the only way you do that is by coming to the rink with the right attitude every day. We gotta, you know, get it going, going into playoffs, and that's just gonna happen by all of us coming together and playing as a whole unit with one collective heartbeat. The engineers will be home again tomorrow night, hosting Harvard University. The puck drops at seven o'clock. For NSRT News, I'm Spencer Conlin.